on 14th of September 2014, Fuji did something that should change the Fuji community forever. They introduced their, in my opinion, sharpest and best performing lens ever. Hello folks and welcome back to another video. I hope you liked the little intro sequence. On 14th of September 2014, Fuji did something that should change the Fuji community forever. They introduced their, in my opinion, sharpest and best performing lens ever. And how it renders colors, it's insane. And we are talking about a lens with seven aperture blades and it is the Fuji 50 to 140 f 2.8. Full frame terms, it is roughly a 70 to 200 with depth of field that equivalents f4, but we get the amount of light from a 2.8, so the 50 to 140 2.8 is a great lens and great example how a well made lens should be. It's completely made out of metal, has a very smooth zoom ring, and the aperture ring is just a joy to use. And the only switch we have is for the stabilization and what is very clever made is the tripod mount because you can rotate it 360 degrees around the lens, lock it, you have two marks for 90 degrees tilted and landscape orientation and what's very great you don't have to remove the whole thing, you just unscrew the tripod mount and you're good to go. 
Okay, it's not the most scientific uh, test I made here, but I took photos on three different focal lengths. At first on 140 millimeters, second at 80 millimeters, and at 50 millimeters. So we have three different focal lengths, and I stopped down from f2.8 to f5.6, f8, f11, and f22, and we take a look how the image performs. So let's get started. First image, we go to the 140 millimeter image and it is right here at f2.8. I did a horrible mistake, but at the end it helped me out. We focus here on the structure of the paper. We see a little bit of vignetting and it is very sharp, but it could be sharper. So we move on to the f5.6 image, just like that, 100% magnification. And we see the sharpness increase drastically. Less vignetting and overall a way better image. And now we go to the next image and it is on 140 millimeter at f8 increased sharpness the same thing like from 2.8 to 5.6 a bit sharper and less vignetting and then we move on to the f11 picture it is the sharpest of all and looks the best and then we have 22 and due to diffraction the image overall declines in sharpness and now we move on to the next focal length a bit zoomed out the 80 millimeter. We see the same thing, but the effect between the different apertures is increased. Most zoom lenses perform the best in the middle of their zoom range, and this is what we can clearly see at 80.4 millimeters at f11. And now we have the last one at 50 millimeter. Like expected, it performs worst on 50 millimeters, but overall, we can say that this lens is very capable and I wouldn't have any problem to shoot a professional job on f2.8 on the entire range of focal lengths from 50 to 140 millimeter. I wouldn't have any problem, like I said, to use it in a professional environment and even make large prints of the photos. And that's it. In the next video, we definitely will take a look on color reproduction and things like that. Guys, you might know this. You have like a creative vision, making some video project or just editing a YouTube video. And you're wondering, where can I get high quality music from and don't pay much? Okay, if you play an instrument, you can definitely do this. But making your own music is very time consuming. You might have guessed it, there is a very simple and affordable option. And this is Epidemic Sound. Just use the link down in the description to get a 30 day free trial for Epidemic Sound. And if you want to subscribe to Epidemic Sound services, just use my link so you can support me and the channel. It is such a versatile lens and in my opinion everyone who says I want to spend one on 1.5 grand on a lens just get your hands on this lens because it will change forever how you shoot and if you have a basic kit of primes between 28 millimeter and 100 millimeters this lens adds very well to the kit because you get this extra range open aperture and so many possibilities to use it and in this video i just want to show you how sharp it is and how it performs and i plan on a, another video where i'm going to go out with this lens, shoot some images and give you some real life examples. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.